Paul Davis, Damian Stewart, Reed, Fabian Davis, and Cairo Marshall. If you watch MLS, you remember him. Langley, Micah High, Andy Williams, Ricardo Fuller, and on Andy Lowe. Take a look at Uruguay, Gustavo Muro making the trek back across the Atlantic. Corbelo, Melo, and Lima, the back line. Liguero will be countered by Oliveira with Martinez and Nunez in the middle. Then Chevant Chevanton, Nayeta, and Forlan in the attack for Juan Ramon Carrasco. A 3-4-3. Will it be powerful enough to shut down Jamaica? Stick around and find out. It's next. We are underway. Ted Gordon blowing the whistle. Goalkeepers don't, I mean, they're not like they're going to get tired because they've three games in a row. On Andy Lowe, an amazing run to the far side. Martinez pushes into the turf and our first foul of the game. You can see a little bit of screaming going on from Tyrone Marshall trying to organize the defense. Now Andy Williams coming back to midfield. Williams nutmegs for Alon, but he's going in the wrong direction. But from the fans' perspective, they you kind of like get it. the idea they don't mind. Irony, as they say. And look at this. Long through ball and off by Ricardo Fuller. Chevanton comes back to midfield to pick up. Martinez passes it off. Corlan making the run. The shot from Chevanton and just wide of the target. Very mobile. There we see. A man from Colonia. Qualifier game due to some defensive woes, but I guess trying to work out some of the kinks. Well, Here the throw in into the corner, and Ricardo Fuller beats one, beats another, lays it top for Andy. Williams drops it back. Langley shot, and it slams off the support behind the goal. Some promising play from Jamaica, especially from Ricardo Fuller, who's been playing very well at Preston North End in the English First Division. As he cuts inside, Sees three men close in on him, then finds Andy Williams. Andy could not take the shot. It might have been a left-footed shot. Then he plays it back. He has the patience to find his teammate, Richard Langley, who sends it centrally placed. However, a good, strong shot. There is Liguera. Let's take a look. Um, Jamaica has 14 foreign-based players and eight local players, which is a formula they followed in 98, 2002. Of course, they were left behind in that final ex qualifying group in CONCACAF. Could have been a handball. Play on. A chance for Chevanton, breaking free at the spot, but the hard challenge from Stewart. Here's Nunez. Now here's the, here you see a problem right here. Nunez and, and, and Oliveira standing right next to him because they, they play the same function, bringing the ball up. Nice work by Ricardo Fuller. Fuller tripped up. Looks like it was going to be a dangerous play call, but I just think that the arm a little too vertical, regardless the foul called, and it's going to be a free kick. Let's see right here. Unless it was obstruction. Pablo Lima. No, Pablo Melo, actually. No, he... Yeah, good call. Tyrone went down, no? no. Ricardo Fuller. Yeah. On Andy Lowe. Ego's perhaps playing a role on this one, but he does have a cannon shot and has scored from here. Did so last year. Tenth minute, Lowe, blast, deflected, goal! He did it again! Jamaica has taken the lead, and Onandi Lowe will lead them. The tenth minute goal from about 35 yards out into the corner of the net past Munoa. Well, on Andy Lowe, 45th match with the Jamaican national team. I don't think he really struck it perfectly, but he just is so cool about it, like as if nothing happened. Munoa couldn't get to it. He hooked it around the wall. Let's see, it's only two men right here, and it might have gone off the knee of somebody. I'm not sure. No, I think it just slid through. No. Nope. And Munua gets wrong-footed, I think, getting back to the far post, and he didn't put enough men on the wall. Well, you have to remember that Jamaica has beautiful work from Andy Williams. The rifled pass cleared away somewhat desperately by the Uruguayan defense. Stewart yeah. lifting it down into the corner, Fuller challenging in. Defended by Lima, clears it back upfield, but Stolen away. Langley, Williams, low to the ground, spins to keep it alive. 
Williams with time. Lofted ball. Munua out. Ooh. Back to the ground as Ooh. it looked like Onandi Lowe oh. just clotheslined him. Ooh. Pablo Melo came over, but I think they were both going for the ball. Well, let's see what happened. Did Lowe get a little extracurricular as he realized he could not get to this one? A dangerous ball from Williams nonetheless. No, that's just, that's a clean play. It almost looked like he headed him. It's just a collision right here. Lowe keeps his eye on the ball. Only thing is maybe leading with the arms. Okay, and Munua is staring, and he catches him with the right arm to the face. Davis who brought it in. Fuller challenging, cleared away by Munua, but not far enough. Okay, Andy yeah. Williams. Outside of the boot pass, can Fuller get there? No. Fuller. Lima, no foul. Williams lets it run, top of the box. Langley. Chip to the back post, low, slams in like a runaway semi. And if it was not for Liguetta tracking back, that would have been another one. I'm not really sure what Ted Gordon's complaining about. It's just that Lowe's so much bigger. Well, Langley took his time. Actually, Mitch Micah Hyde took his time. He wouldn't take a shot. And then he decided to send the cross. Sat up there waiting for Onandi to get underneath it. Onandi, Onandi's a steamroller. He already flattened Munua. This time, he had another victim. I think it was Cruvelo, no? Out on the far side, Zalayeta. Martinez a little... And and out of Uruguay, control. Uruguay seems out of sorts. Look at this. Nice give and go. Quick shot. And Williams with the volley on the flight. And stopped by Munua. Four shots to one right now. And this is all Jamaica. Andy Williams. Williams cutting back to stop from being offside. And will slowly trickle across. Long throw in from Fabian Davis. And this could be, you know, this could be a product. Of Williams, but offside again. That. How many times have we seen Forlan or Chevanton, let alone Zalayeta, actually touch the ball with more than a yard of space? Not many. Oh, nice work in tight space through the triple team. Fuller finally knocked to the turf. Play on, says Gordon. He was not liking the histrionics of Fuller. Stepping forward, Melo. Problem was the Chevanton attack was retreating. Martinez touched to the far side, Liguera tracking it down. Tempts the defense, keeps it alive to Martinez. Chip into the middle, chance for Oliveira. Oliveira eludes one, Oliveira at the top of the box on the right foot, give and go. And Rick gets off of his line to grab it about seven yards out. And maybe the occasional defensor of the Nubio. Stepping in nicely to steal it away was Garfield Reed. Reed still now drops it back. Langley, Williams, Langley. Pass off here. target, and here comes Diego Forlan chipping it to the back post. Chevanton wide open. Slide tackle and a beauty. Knocks it wide. That should have been the equalizer. But coming back was Langley to save the day. I think I thought maybe after the head banging by Low and Munua, and that's what turned ugly, but it hasn't. Chevin Tone, top of the 18, gets another chance on the left footed blast. A laser bolt just over the bar. He's telling Oliveira, watch, come back, follow up. I'm trying to give you a pass back. And then Chevin Tone gets the ball back, and he decides to strike it very close. Not playing at a bigger club. One of the reasons also why Dion Burton. Knocked him out of that position on the national team. Ball chipped in from Nunez. Zalayeta, Zalayeta still loose. Is it going to be a penalty? I can't believe it. Penalty. And it will be. This is one of those lacks of concentration right here. The ball lifted up, but the, the hands right in front of the chest. One of those reasons, again, why... I, uh, I disagree totally, but 
One of the reasons also I see so many defenders come by with hands behind their back because of referees like Ted Gordon. But in my, the rule number one is if your hands are not there, will it hit another part of your body basically? And in that case, yes, he's just protecting himself. Hands are right next to the body and that should not have been called. But regardless, Ted Gordon points to the spot and a chance to tie it up for Chev Anton. A little bit of gamesmanship from Claude Davis. Similar from Stewart and Chev Anton unimpressed. Ricketts, about six foot three, spreading out on his line. Chevantone shot, saved, rebound, loose far side, cleared away, and a deserved save off the penalty. It's still a lead for Jamaica. Can you believe that Uruguay, even without Recoba and Lopez, are being controlled by Jamaica right now? Mm. Headed back calmly by I Davis. See, I see. At least on their natural ability, and if. They can play a more disciplined second half. Counterattacks are going to be there, and they might even get a second. We're seeing signs of it here. Jamaica pushing forward. Langley. Davis shot. Langley and denied by Monua. What a shot. Monua got to that one. That one had a destination of that upper right corner right here as he gets five yards, takes a 40 yard cracker and Manua gets one hand to it. Garfield Reed, I think it was, who took it. Yeah, Manua got there, but took no chances with it. Great crack on goal. Let's see what happens. Trying it again, near post, headed clear, top of the box, oh. open shot. Nice save, rebound, and cleared away. Whistle finally blows, but will it be another corner? Manua saying it should have been a foul, and it looks like it will be. A little surprised again that they went with him more than Estoyanov. I think Estoyanov could have spread the game a little bit more. Ball stolen away by Jamaica in the midfield. Fuller getting a little bit of help. Whistle blows as Martinez with the eighth foul of the game. Both players collide Martinez. and both players down. There the substitute. Ornos coming in. Zalayeta going out. First touch of the ball, Ornos loses it. Just trying to fit into the team effort today. Hmm. Orlan, look how deep he is. He's five yards from midfield. Gets it off the give and go. Bending ball, but again, right into the gut of Ricketts. Sixth shot of the game for Uruguay. Orlan couldn't get much behind that shot. Whistle blows, and the half comes to a close. 1-0 for Jamaica on the 10th minute. Free kick by Onandi Lowe. Can you believe it? Correa coming in for Forlan in the 46th minute. Interesting combination here. And Chevanton denied at the wire. Miscontrol and again still out there is Nunez. Onandi Low against Martinez. Onandi Low against Nunez. Onandi Low against Lima. Look, you know, I get the impression Onandi cares not of who's marking him. He's just staring down at the ball. Fuller on the turn, onside shot. Just skims wide of the post. Oh, so close to goal number two. Well, Ricardo Fuller, the Preston North End, number 10 right here, plays it to the far post. Good work. Now, Barbaro, all he can do is watch it once it's by. Flying forward was Fabian Davis. Now it's Williams onside. Can Fuller keep it in play? Fuller, far flank. Lima over. Fuller, back post, headed down. Williams, low, great shot, but a brilliant stop by Barbat. And what might be the best play of the game for Jamaica, but denied at the doorstep. Ricardo Fuller got the cross in. He found Andy Williams. I thought Williams was going to chest it and shoot it. However, he decided he preferred to head it to Anandi. Anandi turned on it. Look at this one right here. Anandi stops. He's telling, he's telling Andy Williams, get it down. And then it comes to Anandi eventually off a of defender. Look to be Melo as Curbelo tries to close in on him. Anandi giving him some space to turn on that ball. Still, as we said, might be the best play of the game on the other side, Uruguay. 
just sending the shot screaming wide. Their first shot of the second half. And as we take a look, it was Chevanton lifting it forward. Ornos, the back heel. Liguera with the shot, I think. Liguera, the left foot, and it's that is his weakness. Chevanton all the way back into the midfield. Good work with Williams, passing it off to Langley. Stolen away by Melo. Melo flips to the far side, Correa. Correa with Marshall in front of him. The Galaxy defender, nothing to worry about. Well, you've got a point, though. Hyde, nice turn through the stripe. Pass to Reed, Reed to low, chests it down. Williams brings it down. Williams very good at shielding the body. Through ball, good chance here. Fuller chips into the middle for over Barbat, but cleared away by Corbello, and it is a shooting gallery right now. Nobody in the middle for Jamaica. When you see Fuller... Right, Barbat. When you see Fuller go down to the end line, his teammates have got to move up and, and sprint into that box. Martinez can't control everything. Hyde. Uh, Nandi low, but the whistle blows, and the third offside of the match against Jamaica. Getting a little bit. And our first substitute's getting set. It looks like Craig Ziadi and Cornel Chinsu getting set. So it will be Hyde is out. Chinsu coming in for Hyde. And it will be Langley also coming out. Now well, Correa not quite ready, and here comes the charge. Onandi low in the middle as Fuller tries to cut to the middle, and again, I've been really impressed with Melo. I think Lima has been beaten a few times down the left side, Corbello down the right, but when they have been, 99% of the time, Melo's been there Melo, with the broom. Melo comes over to sweep up behind him. Throw in on the near side. Back to Reed. High cross all the way for Lowe to track it down. Lowe trying to keep it in play, does. Lowe trying to turn around the defense, brings it back, and that rings a round of applause. Chinsu, Ziadi, Ziadi, and the shot probably should have been better. A couple of more subs, Jermaine Johnson and Damani Ralph getting set to check in, and it's Andy Williams leaving, and Damani Ralph coming in. One fire for another. And Johnson coming in for Fuller. So the entire attack, Sans Onandilo, has now been replaced. Finding a couple of shots, pulling him out of the corner. Here comes Nunez. Oh, yeah. Oh, why everything comes up the middle. Martinez. Correa, the shot deflected, and again. Another nice tackle from Tyrone Marshall. This match has turned into a bit of a listless affair in the second half. Williams getting an early touch, ball to the middle, looking for low, or looking for, yes, it was low. Ralph on the back post. Tyrone Marshall. Remember, he was a forward in college, passes it off. Johnson dances around Barbat, tucks it into the net, and the National Stadium erupts. Marshall to Johnson. Can you believe it? Jamaica 2, Uruguay nothing in the 82nd minute. So Jermaine Johnson came in about 10 minutes ago, scoring the goal, but I think the man who made the play was Tyrone Marshall, former FIU and Miami. Um, Fusion, watch, he, he fakes the shot and he makes the pass. And as, as Melo and Lima come out. First mistake by, by Melo all day as he bit on Marshall's fake. Yeah. And then. And no Corbello either. Corbello should have rotated back to the middle to help out. Instead, he was probably on the flank keeping an eye on Onandi Lowe. Instead, a brilliant finish and a deserved score line and more weight on the shoulders of Juan Ramon Carrasco. I think that was Craig Ziadi trying to yeah. lift it over his head. 
Well, Cafu does that at midfield, not in his own box. Thanks. Here they come again. Ball in front oh. by Williams, deflected back. Chin Su to the flank. Now Jamaica's, their confidence level now is sky high, of course, urged by the crowd. I think they won a third. Marshall could be a handball. Play on. Johnson, the goal scorer. Oliveira knocks it wide. Calmly, Jamaica swings it back. Long ball from Stewart into the area. Johnson with help. Pass off to Williams. Back to Johnson. Top of the box. Jermaine Johnson, Chinsu, Johnson. Okay, Rough. Actually, the ones who come from Europe may have a, a heat excuse, but a lot of these players come from the South American summer for Uruguay. Whistles coming from the stands. Still only about five minutes left to go. Chin Su. Good work by Jamaica. Onande. That's going to be a foul and more time off the clock. Ornos, nice pass to Stoyanov, who runs into a wall. Named he got caught in Stewart in that web in that afro web of the hair. Stewart knocked him down. So enough time to play it around him. Chinsu pass off Ziadi. Chinsu in the box. Cleats out. Keeps it alive. Still Chinsu looking for help. Still Chinsu. Like he's got it tied you know, by a thread to his ankle and finally cleared away by Correa. It seems like a a theme here when the Jamaican plays. Estoyanov, nice ball into the middle. Oh, offside flag comes up against Ornos. I don't think so, but Ricketts made the stop anyway. Think about that game against Mexico. 92nd minute. Oh, happy news here for Jamaica. Jermaine Johnson singing well, a happy tune right now. Well, if you're going to pick a man of the match, maybe. I mean, it's been a pretty even performance for Jamaica. I think also Ricardo Fuller did some good work on the side. Andy Williams did some nice work. Donovan Ricketts give him some credit. He saved the penalty. Mm. But uh, the two things to point out here, I think it's it's the lack of Uruguay, Uruguay's inability to react to Jamaica's attacks. And Jamaica missed, even though they missed quite a few opportunities, the ability to control this match totally. Still, you know, 92nd minute, they're still coming forward. Ball crossed in. I don't think there's really been an outstanding individual effort. Here a chance for Chin Su. Could be offside, play on. Another chance on the near side for Anandi Lo, who again, trying to shield the ball away. It is so rare that you actually have a native coach. And so many times they've been looking to Brazil to look, find the man to guide Jamaica to the World Cup, and Carl Brown showing that they can beat a World Cup team here. Well, he may not, maybe not all the players are here with Uruguay. However, it is Uruguay, and 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 of course, Chevanton. There's no debating; he's a world-class player. Tyrone Marshall. The other Shinsu. thing is, they also take events because, for example, uh, like uh, Guatemala is not even playing on this day. They just couldn't can organize a match. Cleared away by Lima, the whistle blows. It is over. Put it in the books. Jamaica has beaten Uruguay two to nothing.